Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and I ain't trying to get political or nothing like that, but I just <laughs> was turned on the news, which is very rare, and I was seeing this stuff on MSNBC. I don't really watch the news for news sake. I look at it for different changes when it comes to broadcasting stuff. So again, I have this stuff blurred out because I don't want to get into the political stuff, but I'm more interested on how I can mimic what I see they're doing with your ATEM. There's so much stuff that your ATEM can do that you can use from a ministry standpoint. So I want to mimic how they do this and show you how to actually do the same type of setup. So let's go ahead and go downstairs and let's go to the computer. All right, folks, so we're here on the computer. So now let's go ahead and design this thing. Now, first, we have to do this in layers. In the background, there is a, looks like there's a playing like motion graphic. I'm going to leverage a program and not a program, but I'm going to leverage a website that I've been using for a lot of my stuff in Bato Elements. I've been using them for five years, has a lot of assets from photo to video to music to templates, and it gives you a license for everything. This is not sponsored, but I do have a link down below if you're interested in using them. I'm just recommending them because this is what I use for my stuff for the last five years. And that's where I'm going to pull some of these assets from. So let's go ahead and cut over to my computer. So over here on my desktop, as you see, we're here on Envato Elements. And I'm just going to look up a background. So I'm going to say red background. And you see we have some photos. We have some videos um, and things like that. I want this to be a video graphic that's given constant motion. You can pick any of these that you want. I've actually already picked one and downloaded one. The one that I got is actually this news bar one. So it's this one right here. Looks pretty cool. So that is what I'm going to use as my background. Now, the other thing is they have this unique layout of how they've done their lower thirds. I'm going to build a template to match something similar. And this is what I'm going to load into ProPresenter to be my background for anything moving forward so that the graphics are the same, but I can change the title. I can change the text anytime I want to. So I'm here in Photoshop. You can use this with PhotoP or any other graphic editor that you have. I have this, so that's why I'm just using this. So the first thing I did is I made a background to kind of mimic everything here. They, and I've already made these slides. I mean, all of this, I don't want to bore you with making it all, but I have this little bar and actually let me turn on the black background so you can see it. And let me turn off my extra lines. So we started with this white line that's at the top of that bar. We have our accent color here. Then we have another white fill that fills up this whole area. Then I added some text for the broadcasting network, for, but for me, it is my typical prototype church text. I also added a um, logo here, and I actually did that in ProPresenter, but I mean, I can do this here as well too, just to show you how I actually did it. And it just works just like anything else. I had a logo here, and I had it fit in right here, and I resized it down. Actually, let me undo that because it changed my aspect ratio. So we can put something right here if you want to, anything like that. And I'm just gonna use this as an example um, here. And then that was it. That's what I did for my lower third. So I exported that and just keep it transparent. And that's what I'm sending on to um, ProPresenter. Now, the next thing I did is I made an outline so that I know where all of this other stuff goes. The pictures for the cameras, kind of like what you see me doing right now with the super source. So it's an outline for me to match and shrink the video camera inputs to certain dimensions. Like as you can see over, over here, <laughs> that I have my computer taken up a certain size and I have my image taken up a certain size. So if I come over here to my super source, and say I just changed this to 0.4, you can see there's a gray box around me so that I know to make sure my video feels the same size. That is what I'm gonna be making right now. So in here, I just had an outline that took up this upper portion, and I had a background because there's a little sliver of an outline that matches all of that, you know, splits the video up. 
and everything else is transparent. And there was a little white line here at the top that separated. So I exported that as my um, window and to match and everything. So we're going to be doing this live because I'm going to be using this and adjusting my super source on the fly. So the first thing, if I go over to your to media, as you see, I've brought in my outline. So if I go back over here to my super source, we have box number one is the box I'm in right now. Box number two is going to be the computer, which is what you see over here. And then number three, I'm actually going to use this as my outline. All right. So I'm going to come over here and let's map this over to this right here. Now you're not seeing the modifications because it would actually go live. I actually need to refresh this so that you can see this again. So if I do the super source and update it and make it to the media player, there you go. That's my background that we're going to be working around. So let's go to box number two first and let's move this and resize this to fill in and block out all of the orange. So let me reset the X coordinate to zero. And we're over here, so let's come back a little bit about here. But let's shrink this a little bit. Let's go, it's 0.77 right now. Let's go 0.75. That looks about right. Now let's just move this up some. So that's at 1.3. Let's change this to 1. That works. And let's actually do it 0 0.9. 0 0.95. There we go. So we don't see anything, but we see the red bar at the top. Now we have too much here. Now in this window, we're going to actually just have a still photo. So it doesn't matter if I crop out the bottom and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to crop out this bottom. Let's say this is by two. That's too much. Let's do one. Let's do 1.1, 1 1.2. 1 and that looks to work. A little bit too much. Let's go back to 1.1. 1.15. There we go. So I want to be able to keep that bar separation about as even as the top. So that works. Now, let's adjust my box, number one, and we want to mimic the same thing. So let's go ahead and change mine to 0.75 because it's the exact same dimensions as this, this one. <laughs> You <laughs> what I'm pointing to over to here. All right. And let's move this up some. So we did what? 0 0.91, 0 0.92. Oh, that's too much. 0.92. All right. So that works. And now I need to crop out the bottom of this image as well, too. Let's get rid. Let's move this up to 1.15. And there we go. So now we have our dimensions here. Now. For our background, we're going to be using video. So let's go ahead and cut over to ProPresenter. And let me actually go full screen so you can actually see this a lot better since I've modified all of this. So inside of here, I actually have a couple, I have two inputs coming into my ATEM. I have a DeckLink mini monitor and I have my regular HDMI. So if I come over here to my, to my screens, I was going to say scenes, this is not OBS. If I come over here to scenes and I go to my monitors, you see I have a one that's going to my mini monitor, which is I'd labeled as full motion. And then I have my other one that is an HDMI connection right here is actually going to be a lower third. So I have two inputs because I'm doing all of this in ProPresenter. This would be a lot different if I was playing this through different applications, but I'm doing everything through ProPresenter. All right. Next thing we're going to do is I have that bar, as you see, playing as my background. We need to play around with our looks because we have two different scenes, but we want them to show different things. So if I go to my looks, there is my full screen. My full screen is set to only play media, but my lower thirds are meant to only th show a slide. All right. So how that works and let's leverage this in what we're doing right now. Let's go back to our super source and now let's go back here. So my input that's going to input number four is playing the graphic behind me. 
So if we go back here, under Supersource, our art, that's gonna be our background. Instead of Media Player, I'm gonna change this to my Hyperdeck. Don't worry about the name, that's input number eight. Um, excuse me, input number seven on my ATEM. And as you can see, I'm playing video. That's going here. And now we can trim the graphic that I was talking about earlier. Let's go back to presets. Now let's go to box number three. And now we need to trim the bottom so that we can now see everything. So let's go five. That's a little bit too much. Four, three, all right, 3.5, 3.8. 3.9, so about there. That's, we're good here. So now we have our three boxes, our three boxes. We got my image. We have what's gonna be considered a static image like this compared in that news broadcast. We have our motion graphic and we have our outline template so we can see what's going on. The only thing we need to do now is bring in our lower third. So let's go ahead and cut back over to the screen here and we're going back to ProPresenter. Now, we have that lower third that we made, and I've already done this, but we're gonna come in here to theme, we're gonna make a brand new theme, which is what I've done. And inside of here, I imported this whole background image that we made, and you see where I did this separately. I added the logo later, um, but we did it um, originally here. So if I just delete this, and let's actually just do the whole thing again. So that y'all can see it. Let me turn on the layers and everything that we made with the church logo. So there we got. And let's move this up just a little bit. Oop, wrong one. Church logo. Just a little bit. All right. So there we go. So I'm going to export this. And I'm going to rename this to my overlay right here. I've already placed it. Now this is what's gonna be my background for my custom lower third in ProPresenter. So I'm gonna add a media image. There's the overlay and there we go. Now what I need to do is move this backwards, send this to the back so our text layer is in front. And let's just make this again so you can see it. I'm gonna add a text layer and let's change the color to black so I can see it first. And let's set our font. Let's set the size. I'm gonna make this 90 just for right now. And I want to fit my text inside the confines of this white section here. So let's drag this down here and drag this over here. And there we go, and I want to make the confines of this text scale up and down to the container. So it will automatically fill this area, no matter what text you put in here. And I'm also gonna align it to the left. Now you could do this as well too, if you wanna add another text here to fill in any one of these sections, you can do as much as you want. And I realized I didn't include prototype church in my image. I forgot to turn that on. So let's export this one more time. And let's delete this and add it one more time. Can't believe I forgot to add the text here. There we go. And let's send this to the back again. And there we go. So we have our text here. We have our custom lower third. So this graphic is always gonna be used going forward. So now we have a slide that we've already made with the title of my pastor's sermon that he sent me that's actually for this Sunday. And this is what I'm using. This is going to our DSK like we've done before. So if I come here, that output is coming to what I call PC, um, PC number one, the right screen. That's what this is. So as a refresher for our lower thirds, we're gonna go to DS, our DSK and I have it pointing to our right monitor for our fill and our source, all right? So if I bring this slide up right now, and I just bring that slide up, you can't see it, but if I cut over to it, this is what is being outputted from ProPresenter right now. Nothing but this custom lower third. 
But now that we've done our super source in everything, we'll be able to add everything. So if I turn on the super, not the super source, if I turn on the DSK right now, you see this. So it could be as simple as you have this, you're talking, you have a custom lower third, boom, like this. But then we want to engage our super source. So let's actually, and I forgot one more thing we need to do. Let's cut back over. Let's turn this off. Let's go back to our super source because we're going to make this one more time. The last thing I forgot to do is change this image right here. I keep pointing to the wrong one. Instead of my computer, I want to point this to a custom image that I have right here. I just loaded this image. This could be anything. This could be your scripture. It could be a picture of the kids, a picture of whatever, anniversary, whatever. So I'm going to map this in our super source, the media player number one, and it could be anything. So that's box number two. And instead of the center screen, we're going to just change this to media player number one. And there you go. All right. So we have, let's put it all together. So you see, we have our static image. You got me straight. Let's now we have our background image playing as well too. And now let's bring in our lower third. And there we go. Now we have as close to a representation of this. So just imagine, we're, let's, let's do the whole thing. Let's cut back over to my first shot here. Say somebody is preaching, you got this, and we want to, today's topic is going to be on the irreversible promise. So we bring up our lower third. And now we want to say, we want to cut over to um, a scripture or something like that, or an image or a title. We're going to bring now our super source, our custom super source that we just made, your pastor's talking, they're doing this, blah, 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 blah. And then now, just like we saw in the news, now we have a similar look and you can make these as many as you want. And it's just showing just how much this can be done with the ATEM. I am still using our regular presentation software. We're bringing that in to do our background image, that animated graphic that you see in the background and our lower third below, just like you probably are already using with your scripture. We're just twisting it on its head. And that's about it. My apologies for fumbling so much through this because I was figuring this out on the fly as well too and recorded myself. I've recorded this maybe 20 times and doing different takes. But hopefully um, if we do some more of these, we'll, we'll get it a little bit cleaner um, as well too. So hopefully y'all could follow that. But this is just a new series. I want to show you what your ATEM can do well beyond what um, you're probably typically using it. All the churches I've ever installed at ATEM, I like using it because it has so much more functionality that you're probably using. And I've never leveraged this to this extent. So this is a refresher for me to show just how much more I can do. But if you see any graphics at all that you see on the news or TV or something like that, go ahead and email me at questions at ajhomes.com. Send it to me as a, um, just as a, what's the subject? I don't know. Um, ATEM super source or something like that. Yeah, let's use that. ATEM super source ideas. And I'll see if I can mimic that and give instructions and make a video on how to use your ATEM with given software to make this work. So if you like this type of content, appreciate the like, consider subscribing, hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. And you never know. Also, if you wanted me to make something like this, I probably could also make export the super source and make it available so that you all that work is already done. You just got to pick your sources inside your ATEM. Let me know if you want that because I might just list that as an additional digital asset that you can download, I don't know, for like $2, 2 or $5 or something like that. And then it, this work is already done for you. But let me know and we'll revisit that if you want me to do that. So anyway, folks, this is AJ. Hope you like this type of video and we'll be catching you on the next video. Later. <music>